white mom in Florida abused, abused a three year old son. Okay, put it at full mass. I want you to see some of the extreme nature of this. Um, I warn you, it is shocking. Uh, she gets a slap on the wrist from the judge. So this happened July 25th. 30 year old Yulia Storizuk, who fled the Ukraine war a year ago, will completely avoid prison time after pleading guilty to viciously, I mean, viciously attacking a three year old. October 2023, despite the severity of the abuse, she reached a deal with prosecutors to plead guilty to one felony count of child abuse in exchange for three years of probation. As part of her sentence, she was also ordered to complete a parenting class and undergo a mental health evaluation. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. So let's put up the judge. I, we got to do some digging now. That's Judge Carmen Carbarja. Carmen presided over the case in the 11th Judicial Circuit, warned the Sunny Isle Beach, Florida woman, she would be incarcerated and then face deportation if she is rearrested before the end of the probation term. So during the proceedings, the judge made clear any future incidents of child abuse would not end well for the mother. It actually, judge it wouldn't end well for the three year old. Okay. If you lay a finger on this child, you're coming back before me. How are you going to find out about it, judge? Is a three year old going to call you? Hmm? The judge scolded the teary eyed defendant. She added, quote, the maximum I can sentence you to is 10 years. The minimum I will sentence you to is 22 and a half months of state prison uh, for a finger. But what did she do in real life? She gave her no time. So while the judge is talking about fantasy and make believe sentences, she gave the woman no time in jail at all, nothing. Okay. Uh, although the judge called the mother's actions horrible. And believe the uh, and believe the abuse warranted jail time. She still granted leniency, saying she took into account a mental health expert's opinion that reconciliation would ultimately be better for the child who was placed in foster care. Now, I want you to understand the mental health evaluation did not determine, did not conclude at all that she did not have her faculties that she did not understand what she was doing. She was completely 100% legally criminally liable for what she did. That was the conclusion of the evaluation. But the judge said, but you know, they said it would be better for the three year old for me to put the abuser back in the house immediately. So that's what we're gonna do, put it up for a mask, okay? There's more. The brutal October 2023 assault was captured on a home security video. It's so gruesome, we can only show screenshots. The footage was turned over to police by a neighbor uh, being a good person, witnessed the mother viciously pounding a helpless toddler, kicking him after throwing him to the ground. A second ring camera captured the moment when the mother pushed her son in the chest, causing him to stumble backward to the floor. Mammy Dade County prosecutors citing the footage accused the woman of grabbing the small child with both hands, lifting him off the ground, slamming him hard on the floor. The child could have died in that moment. According to the criminal complaint and arrest affidavit, quote, while the victim is on the ground, defendant maliciously kicks the victim twice, defendant then grabs the victim by the face and pushes him to the ground as the victim is attempting to get up. Defendant repeatedly kicks the victim while exiting camera view. Later, when confronted with the video evidence, the mother confessed, explaining, my anger just got the best of me because the three-year-old threw a tantrum 
and she refused to take him to the playground. Quote, in a post Miranda recorded interview, defendant is shown the ring camera footage and admits to being the person in the video, police wrote in the report. Quote, defendant discloses the reason why she pushed her son was punishment for insisting on going to the playground. Defendant went on to say that the son was being difficult and uncooperative. Um, let's put him up, okay? You see that guy? So even though there's a custody loss, a future reunion is now on the table. If the mother complies with the court order, which is not a difficult court order to comply with. Her defense attorney told NBC6 South Florida, quote, she was under an extreme amount of pressure when this happened. Again, we're not condoning what she did. She knows she's accepted responsibility, but at least now she can move on and not go to prison. She still has an open case of family court over the custody dynamic currently represented by a dependency attorney who appeared at the sentencing hearing to oppose the plea deal, according to NBC6 Florida. So remember, family court, the person from family court comes to the criminal proceeding and says, don't, don't y'all let this woman out of jail. Don't do that. They literally came to the court to say this. And she still gets a slap on the wrist for trying to seemingly kill her. Kill her baby. Something is not adding up. Francesca, thoughts here. Uh, this is just so, just so disgusting and awful and hard to watch. And I, I don't love the idea that courts get involved in every aspect of our lives. But we know that if the race of this woman were different. She would absolutely be sentenced to time and her kid would be immediately removed from her and there would be no custody hearing in the future because it would be completely revoked immediately. Right. So I just I just need to put that out there. I don't necessarily look, I do believe in rehabilitation. That is I truly do for all people, right? Um, and I absolutely believe that like this woman, you know, could have a second chance at being a good mom, but it is real hard to see through the evidence and the facts in this case of her. Yes, you're right. Could have easily killed her three-year-old kid who, again, you can't leave it to a three-year-old. They're three. Right. So for me, I'm just like, no, she should not be left alone with this child anymore. Um, and, and yeah, if that means put, putting her in prison for a short amount of time, absolutely. And then you have monitors and whatnot. Put a ring camera inside her home. But I don't know, Doc, it's complicated. Um, I just want to say that, look, this is her, that's her biological kid, right? That, that's yeah. a mom right there. Yeah. We're living in a time where the right tells you that if you're a step parent, right, you're not a real parent. You know, if you have adopted kids, you're not a real parent. You have to be the biological parent. Look at this biological parent right. just beating right. on her three year old. So, uh, <laughs> We have a long it's, way to go. Yeah, and this sentence helps nobody. It doesn't help the child. It doesn't help the mother get the help that she obviously needs. It helps yeah. no one. No yeah. one. Nobody made a decision to remedy this at all. All right.